San Diego comedian Brian April is using his comedic gift to shine a light on an uncomfortable subject. It's a medical condition that has dramatically changed Brian's life, but now he's using his platform to create awareness and support. It's a story inspiring San Diego. Ladies and gentlemen, let them hear it. It's Brian April! On any given Thursday night at the Madhouse Comedy Club in downtown San Diego, Brian April takes the stage and does what he does best. In fact, if you say it fast enough, it sounds like a martial art. Hachito. <laughs> Make people laugh. I know Hachito. He's incredibly animated and expressive on stage, a master of impressions. Hokely dokely, don't you think you should reconsider? <laughs> All right, I'll have donuts and bacon. But in May of 2009, viral meningitis and a disease called Ramsey-Hunt syndrome paralyzed half his face. I went into like a very dark place, very depressed, and I didn't want to die, but I didn't want to exist, if that makes sense. Brian's stand-up career came to a standstill. I, I couldn't go on stage with my, my face drooping and my eye. My eye didn't close for over nine months. That's when I first started getting some healing. I had total hearing loss in my left ear and it just uh, it shattered my world. Over time, he began to find humor in his challenges. I said, I have to go out and make fun of this because I just, there's no other way for me to, to feel better. Um, I, I have to, in order to just remove the power that it had over me and get out of that depression. Some of you may have noticed, I actually have facial paralysis on the left side of my face. Healing him emotionally and creating awareness of facial paralysis. Here's Ramsey Hunt singing the smash hit. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Brian's friends have seen the positive reaction working alongside him, inspiring people everywhere. It's anywhere from 50 to 2,000 people that are looking at you. And if it's, a, if it's a big audience, then you're on a big old screen with your face with paralysis and all on that big old screen. Yeah, that's very vulnerable. But Brian does it with grace. He lets people know what is happening in his life, but it's okay. He's doing okay. And he's, he's, he's making people laugh, which he loves. So I got hearing loss, I got vision loss, I got vertigo. Uh, you know, I got like the collector's edition, you know, because <laughs> that's just how I roll, right? Brian has now started the first support group of its kind in San Diego for people with facial paralysis and their loved ones. He's also launched a podcast called Unique Smiles to reach out to an audience he uniquely understands. I remember what it was like when I first got it and how low I was and how sad and how alone I felt. And to find those other people and just have that human connection of kindness, it makes all the difference in the world. Rediscovering laughter has also helped him restore his health. He's lost 152 pounds. He jokes about that too. That's nice. Some of you guys are like, that's really good. And some of you are staring at me like, how fat were you? The daily pain and facial paralysis will likely never go away. And while this condition may have partially stolen his smile, finding the humor in his reality has helped him rediscover the joy of living. If you told me 10 years ago that I would, or that I would consider this a blessing, I would say you're crazy. But it really has been a blessing. It's changed my life tremendously. Thank you, man. Brian's in the process of auditioning for America's Got Talent and was considered as a replacement voice actor on The Simpsons. To watch his entire comedy set or find out more about his facial paralysis support group and podcast, log on to our website, NBC7.com, and search Inspiring San Diego. Oh, I hope he makes it on America's Got Talent. That would oh, be awesome. It would be so great. He has such a great story to tell, and he's really funny. Yeah, you, you yeah. were there at the show, right? Oh, so yeah, you got to hear great. all his jokes? Yes. Good stuff. Really good. All right.